You guys, it's fucking snowing out here. It's snowing. <laughs> no way. Hello, sir. Okay, I'll get out of your way. Hello. How's it going, sir? Okay, I'm leaving. Oh yeah, we got one in the snow. In the snow. Nice. In the snow. I'm thinking one more fish. Whew. It's cold, man. Oh, we got a nice one. Oh boy, got a nice one, got a nice one, here he is, oh that's a nice, it's a nice tatog, it's a nice tatog. How do you fight that though? Goodbye. Step one, just boiling the carcass right here. Boiling the carcass. Get a nice soup. That's step one. <clears throat> Alright, so before we begin, I got my butter, my bacon, my fresh fillets, my potatoes, and my celery and onions. I like to get all this done. And obviously the first thing I did a couple hours ago, I put the carcasses on to boil. So we'll see if this is gonna fog up the camera all nice. And I think it is. So that's gonna be a nice stock that you can So this is gonna be a nice stock that you're gonna base. This is gonna be a nice stock that's gonna be the base of your soup. So first step, you're gonna wanna turn your flame on, all right, grab your butter, put it in, put, put in the butter, then come over here with your bacon, throw in your bacon, just like that, all right, so, then we wait, all right, your butter's gonna get a little melty, then I'm gonna add all of these guys, just like so, then, gonna add a pinch of salt just to draw some water out of that make sure you get it all out of your hands there you go while you're waiting for these beauties to cook down get another pan put your stove on 
put some oil in it. We're gonna saute these guys right here. So put a healthy amount of oil. And there, there you go. Let it heat up. So I put a nice dollop of butter in here. And I thought about it a while. I don't think I'm going to put any salt on these guys. I'm just going to leave them as they are. And these are fresh caught, filleted, everything. This is the real deal. So here we go. We're going to put it in. Put it in live. Oh, I feel a bone in this one. You don't want a bone in your chowder. All right. See how I'm laying them in? Just like that. It makes efficient use of the space. Positive space and negative space. See that? Alright. Same, same thing with this one. There you go. Right? And then the next one. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. Now we're just going to let them sit. And be patient. Look at these guys. How are they doing, huh? I might be burning the pan. Oh no, we're good. Yeah, no, we're chilling. Nice. Just gonna have this cooked down. Like everything's on high heat right now. I might have to lower the temp on just a couple of these things. I, th I think this is. I think this is good. I think I can shut that down. Look at this. Meh, 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 meh. Okay, so I just took the tog off. I cooked it sloppily and now I'm breaking it down because that's the way it's going to go in the soup. And uh, got these vegetables over here. They're doing their thing, almost done. Now watch this. I'm going to take a little bit of wine and just going to deglaze the pan. Deglazed. Okay, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with the deglaze. It just makes cleaning the pan easier, right? So now we're gonna make what's called a roux. So it's equal parts butter and flour. So I put about a stick of butter, so that's about four ounces of flour. So here's something in my thing, cabinet resembling flour. So that looks like four ounces. I'm just gonna put the whole thing. Or you know what, maybe I'll start with like that much and then see how it looks. I think I'm gonna put the whole thing. I like it thick anyway. So I'm just gonna cook this enough to make the flour cooked. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do, grab a pot and a colander, and then you're gonna go back to the stove. Grab your boiling fish and just dump it out like such. Strain out any of the impurities. God, this fucking reeks. And you're left with a pan full of fish and it's literally smells so bad and like it really is like ruining my kitchen it smells really bad so I don't know what to do about that but anyway this looks done now so I'm gonna come over to the fridge right we don't have any heavy cream but what we do have is half and half right so I'm just gonna take it what seems to be an appropriate amount Probably like that much should be good, you know. And mix that, mix it right in. See? So this roux will thicken, thicken all that cream. All right, now we're gonna let it heat up a little bit and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. And you see how thick this cream got? So that's when you know you did something right. So now I'm gonna take my taters, add the whole thing, and then I'm gonna take my fish and add the whole thing. 
Then I'm going to mix that together. Now you have a thick, disgusting slop. Okay? And then, to finish, I'm going to have to put the camera down for this. How's that for a camera angle? You take your homemade stock and just ever so gently dump it in. So I just dumped in about half of it. Gonna give it a mix just to see what's up. So I'll probably add a little bit more. That should be good. But let me show you the damage. This is exactly what you want. Nice even distribution, just beautiful fresh ingredients. I mean, you can't, it does not get better than this. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so here's where I ruin it. Take some red pepper, literally just a pinch. All right, that's good, just like that much. Some red, okay, so now th that was red pepper. This is black pepper, all right? It's gonna take a little bit. Just like, just enough, right? And then here's where I get really dangerous. I'm gonna add some of this, just a little bit, just for the color. I mean, just for the color. No more, no less, okay? We're gonna mix that together. Oh, yeah! Doesn't that look incredible? Now we're talking. We are, this is what we call cooking with gas. Okay, so everything's added, and I just put it on low, and you see how it's simmering ever so gently? I mean, ever so gently. That means it's done. You wanna shut it off, and then let it cool down. And then there you have it. Not bad looking, huh? I mean, it smells pretty good too, so we'll see. Aww. Here's the pile of dishes that I won't eat until next week. All right, here's our thing. The only thing I'm missing is freaking crackers. I need freaking crackers and I'm pissed that I didn't bring them. But I have never even had a drop of this in my mouth yet. So we're gonna do a live taste test. Come on, stay. All right, live. Okay, so here it is. It is scorching hot. I hit it. I hit it. That's it right there. That is it. Let's get some fish in there too, huh? That is it. That is it right there. I hit it. Thank God. Look at that. That's it. That's the flavor we wanted. That's it. That's what I was going for. I can't believe it. Amazing. Just because I'm a Rhode Islander, it means that I can make the best chowder no matter what. I don't even have a recipe, I don't have nothing. It's just in my DNA, because I'm from Rhode Island. I'm a Rhode Islander, so I make good chowder. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.